Hello, and welcome to this Service Star tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to link your technicians to issue codes, and vice versa. This new feature provides a way to identify the issues that your technicians are capable or not capable of performing. Now there are two ways to manage this new feature, and the first is through the Maintain Mechanics screen, and the second is from the Maintain Issue Codes screen. Let's start by navigating to the Maintain Mechanics screen. As you can see on the right side of the window, there is a list that displays all of the issue codes that are in your system. I will explain how to use it in a moment. First, let's add a new technician. First, come down to the bottom of the screen and hit the Add button. And now we're going to enter the technician's name and his ID number. This technician is just an example, so I won't be using a real name. If you have multiple shops, you'll now need to come down to the box at the bottom of the screen and indicate which shop this technician will work in. Now let's look at the list on the right. Like I said before, these are the issue codes that are in your system. All we have to do is click or check off each issue that this technician is capable of working on. Let's go ahead and do that now. A little later on, I'll show you how linking your technician to an issue code that he can complete will change how you assign that technician in the service ticket. Now that we're done adding this technician, let's click Update. And, on a side note, when this updated version was released, every existing issue code was assigned to every existing technician. To fix this, just click on each individual technician, hit edit, and then unclick any of the issue codes that don't apply to them. The second way to utilize this feature is from the issue side. So now we'll go to the maintain issue code screen. The only difference when you manage this feature from the issue side is that you'll be adding all of the technicians that can work on a specific issue instead of all of the issues that a specific tech can work on. Let's start by adding a new issue. First we'll enter the issue code, and then we'll give it a description. After we've entered the description, we'll come over here to this big white box on the far right and we'll click Assign. This window here is a list of all of the technicians in your system. You can click one and then click OK to add them individually, or hold the control button to select multiple technicians at once and add them all. The idea behind this action is the same as before. You're selecting all of the technicians who can fully complete the work related to this issue code. Now that we're done making this issue, we're going to hit update. The next step is to pull up the service ticket screen. Now we're going to hit the search button and we'll pull up an existing ticket. Now we're going to click the edit button so that we can make some changes and we'll go up here to the combine view. Next we're going to add an issue by right clicking and selecting add issue and we'll enter that issue code and then hit tab and it'll all populate. Now we're going to come down here and add a mechanic. As you can see, all of the mechanics that we've selected for that issue are highlighted blue, and our Technician 12, who we didn't select, is white. That means he's not really preferred for the job. So we're going to go ahead and select one of our blue technicians and hit OK to add him to the issue. Then we're going to hit OK, and I'm going to pull up a new issue, enter the issue code, and I'm going to show you right over here in this right-hand column, you're going to see two numbers, they're both ones, next to Technician 6 and Technician 3. This means that you've got two tickets that are open right now that already have this issue on them and you've assigned that issue to those two technicians. So, for example, if you have two or three oil changes going on in your shop and a customer walks in and he needs an oil change, you can see which of your technicians are already working on oil changes and you can select one of your other technicians to do the new oil change. I'm just going to go ahead and pick tech number four and add him to the issue. And we'll go ahead and close out this issue. Now, it's important to remember that this is an ongoing maintenance item. So every time you hire a new technician or create a new issue code, you need to go in and indicate which technicians can perform the work associated with the issue. And that's how you link your technicians to issue codes. Thanks for watching this tutorial.